Hi everyone, I'm Kartika Jinaya. I scored All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021 and I'm currently pursuing MBBS from Ames New Delhi. So today I'm going to talk about do or die topics for physics. Again, people are very scared of physics for some reason. Well, physics does involve a lot of calculations and uh, majority of your performance, like how well you perform in NEET will be dependent upon how well you perform in physics. And your rank is directly going to depend on physics. So yes, physics is very important and we do not have time to be scared. So we need to do physics and there are some topics which are relatively easier and have a lot of weightage in the examination. So instead of trying to cover all the topics, I would suggest that you should give particular importance to these topics which can be easily done and have a really lot of weightage and with minimal calculation. So if you particularly give your attention more to these topics, it will be very easier to score in the exam. And Physics will determine your rank, so it's very important to score in the exam. So let's start. So talking about physics, the most important topic of physics I would say is modern physics. This is by far, according to me, the most important topic of physics because directly around 10-15 questions are going to come from this topic and this topic consists of around 4 or 5 chapters which are given at the end of class 12th in CRT. They are very easy topics and they have like uh, their weightage has been increased in recent years because they have particularly more importance in the current scenario. So topics like atom, nuclei, semiconductors they are very important because a lot of theory questions are asked from these topics and if you know the theory you will be able to answer it very well I mean there is no possibility of a calculation error or a silly mistake in a theory question right so if you prepare the theory well it's like guaranteed marks so modern physics very very important you should read the NCRT several times the theory must be done Theory questions are a way to avoid calculations and score, scoring easy marks. So theory must be done for modern physics. Secondly, all PYQs should be done. And thirdly, there are a lot of formulae in modern physics. A lot of them. So I would suggest make a list of formulae. And under no circumstance should you be forgetting any formula. Because modern physics is guaranteed marks. Just four or five chapters that can be done very easily and guaranteed score, believe me. So that is the first topic, modern physics. This should be done on topmost priority. Second topic I would say is electrostatics. Electrostatics. So electrostatics is very important again and especially in NEET 2021, this topic had a huge, huge weightage. This topic is really easy. It is, uh, you, can, you can do it very easily, minimal theory and uh, it's mainly calculation stuff if you increase your calculation speed a little bit this is this could be your favorite topic and this was one of my favorite topics because i was able to score very well in this once you get a grasp on the concept then electrostatics is so easy you will be able to ace through it so electrostatics is according to me very important and again electrostatics has many formulae so you should make a list of the formula and pyqs are very important because uh, even though electrostatics is an easy topic in some of the previous year papers i've seen a couple of difficult questions even in my paper there was uh, one or two difficult questions from this section based on theory so if you do the theory well you're done for the exam so electrostatics very important next we have kinetics kinetics as such is a very vast topic with a lot of subtopics inside it but within kinetics 1d and 2d motion are very easy topics and almost uh, everything of 1d had been covered in 9th and 10th itself and there isn't much possibility of complicating questions beyond that so uh, one difficult topic uh, for me was relative motion in 1d which i did several times and once you do it uh, again and again and solve all the previous year questions, it's just a child play. So 1D and 2D motion, they are easier in kinetics and can be done easily. Second thing, there's our force topic, Newton laws of motion. This is a little difficult to understand. But once you get the concept of, you know, drawing free body diagrams and drawing force, force uh, mechanics and stuff, 
you can ease through it and uh, there are a couple of difficult questions in it which is not very suggested to you you can do the theory part importantly and then you will be able to ace through this topic as well so these three as per me are very important topics there are other topics like rotation also rotation is a very difficult topic very vast topic but the questions in the recent years have become pretty easy so if you take a look at the previous year questions and devote your attention to it it will become easier so rotation motion is difficult but it can be done another topic like rotation is optics which is again a little difficult with a lot of formulae and a lot of derivations a lot of theory but with a huge weightage so optics you cannot skip optics entirely but you must solve previ previous year questions again in optics and try to understand the theory well if you get a grasp of the theory then any topic can be done so these are the topics as per me that should be done must be done on priority now that doesn't mean that you do not do the other topics obviously you must do the other topics as well but these topics are to be done on priority so first complete these topics revise these topics again and again and then go for the remaining topics so once again i repeat myself that it is not that you have to leave any chapter or anything because even one question from a chapter can prove uh, can prove it your your deciding factor so it's very important to do all the topics but there are some topics to which we can devote our attention to so that is all about it thank you